assalamu alaikum the study of language this is a book written by george yule the book is very important basic and fundamental for the beginners and those and those who do not have much idea about linguistic and language so they need they must read this book and to understand this book we are going to analyze we are going to explain the study of language the book is which name is the study of language chapter wise one by one and we are giving our own analysis our own explanation and make it and we and we will try to make it easy easier for the student to understand and to perceive the concept that is written by the george yule in his book the study of language is a very important book in terms of understanding the linguistics because in this book all the sciences of language is mentioned and written and if anyone has and if anyone understand this language this book completely so i am sure uh, he uh, he will have a solid idea and he will have a much knowledge about linguistic that will help him in his further study to understand the uh, linguistics deeply in detail so study of language is the best book in terms of understanding and perceiving the concept of linguistics in most easiest way this book is written by george yule the book is designed for the beginner for those people who just develop their interest to understand linguistics basically george yule george yule is a uh, linguist the uh, uh, scottish the, Sc the scottish american uh, linguist who has worked in the field of pragmatics whose major works lies in the field of pragmatics and in the field of discourse analysis his major works consist of uh, pragmatics he has produced a lot of work in the field of uh, pragmatics uh, and in the field of uh, discourse analysis and these two works are his major work considered to be his uh, major work george yule was born in 20 march 1947 the study of language uh, in this chapter uh, he has discussed the origin of the language what is language uh, the language is the mean of communications communicating thought and feelings though not on that the only means men alone uses language for communications like language is a species specific it is a unique humanly tried shared by the culture so diverse and by individual physically and mentally so unlike one another uh in easiest way language is a primarily human and non instinctive method of communicating ideas emotions and desire by mean of a system of uh, uh, produced symbol like language play an important role in the part of human life everyone make use of it be he or a beggar or a king from the birth to death we are surrounded by the language language is a mean of communication it is a medium by which thought or conveyed from one person to another person so uh, there are reasons behind the development of the language and this is the uh, you know behind uh, there is a reason behind the invention or the development of the of anything in the world so same goes for the language language has remained a mystery for a long time question on its origin nature and relation with animal communication has teased, teased mankind for a long time earlier people thought language to be a god gifted of a, uh, to be a gifted to be a gift of a god like uh, the, the the linguist try to find out the reason behind the gift of the god if they accept this view that language is the gift of the god so they will try to uh, they uh, they uh, they wanted to try it they wanted to do some experiment the ancient civilization held the same view now that it is accepted view that the language has evolved gradually in another word it is a man creation however it took long time for the philologists to arrive at this conclusion there is a writer and there is a you know philologist whose name is max muller rightly derived that the the different theories uh, uh, posited 
by his predecessor as a ding dong theory like there are many theory there are many theories about the development of the language so the study of the language start with the chapter whose name is the uh, whose name is the origin of language like human born when human born and then they produce many different and various thing in the world but what if uh, but what if one else uh, which instinct force like you know uh, uh, the instinct is the innate thing in humans life uh, and uh, uh, when and uh, instinct is the innate ability in uh, every human uh, which instinct force a uh, man to think to produce thing the answer is obvious that it is nothing but human curiosity like the reason we are talking we were talking about the reason so curiosity was the reason curiosity curiosity is the main thing and it is the main important thing behind uh, the development of everything behind the development of the language behind the development or anything in the uh, world uh, actually it is the thing uh, curiosity is the thing that force human to work and to experiment and to do experiment in the different field and invent many different things so basically the curiosity is very important to understand that because it is the curiosity that make men able to progress and uh, and invent different things in the world especially in the language so the same curiosity uh, we have witnessed in the uh, chapter 1 of the yule books uh, the origin of the language uh, you know in the chapter first uh, which name is the origin of the language in which uh, we have studied that uh, in which it is written that uh, human curiosity for language uh, you know uh, forced men to do experiment to trace the origin of the divine language like human curiosity was there to know about the divine language that what is the divine uh, language they have a specific they want to know about they want to read themselves to the to the place uh, to the techniques uh, where they can know about the divine language that what is the divine language or to know about the world's first language because none of us have any solid documents or artifact uh, you know they tells us about the accurate detail about the language approximately that it break from uh, 35000 year back so there are few experiments that have been carried out uh, in the different phases and a different places and in the, by the different persons the first experiments uh, you know uh, there was a biblical traditions uh, uh, in which uh, Uh, it is uh, written uh, you know in the first book uh, in the first chapter uh, of the origin of the language it is uh, you know there are uh, there is uh, uh, these things uh, that by, uh, by biblical traditions uh, um, that god created adams and whatsoever adam called every living creature that was the name uh, thereof after that we have you know the second the hindu tradition they, they say they believe that hindu tradition is the kind of a traditions who you know who contributed who contru- uh, you know which contribute which contributed to the you know emergence to the development of the language uh, that like we have the hindu tradition is mentioned uh, in mentioned in this chapter and that is supposed you know the origin of uh, uh, the the language in the hindu traditions it is as you know saraswati the wife of uh, barma who is uh, credited with the bringing language to humanity uh, same goes for you know most uh, like there are uh, kind of, uh, some people think that you know religious has the most contribution in the development of the language there appears to be a divine source who was uh, provides human with language however with the passage of time and you know with the evolution of everything human mind changed to the fact that they should find out the original language rediscover the divine language through experiment now there are few experiment experiments that have been led that have been carried out by the different people the first experiment you know uh, to be carried out uh, need uh, you know every experiment need a method to conduct and to get the desired result the thinker the analyst came up with the idea uh, you know if the infant were co- were allowed to grow up without being uh, hearing any language around them uh, then they would uh, spontaneously using the original language the god giving language so the first experiment was uh, you know reported to be carried out by 
uh, you know, by the Greek writer whose name is uh, Herodotus, he tried to do his experiment, his experiment with the two, with the two, with the two newborn baby and uh, with a mute shepherd uh, more than two, uh, two uh, you know, 2500 years back. Uh, he assumed that uh, if the infant uh, were kept uh, with gods uh, in the isolation for two years without, uh, you know, the access to the human developed language, uh, we would get to know about uh, the divine source and divine language. The children were reported to utter not the Egyptians' word, but uh, the, you know, uh, it was something very shocking that the first word uh, he uttered is, uh, uh, you know, which is pronounced be called, which means bear, and uh, which means be bread, and the, uh, which is the language of the old, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, Figrans and modern Turkey. Uh, so uh, this was very shocking that uh, the original language uh, have some kind of a seed in the modern uh, Turkey. So uh, another experiment after that, the another the second experiment uh, that was carried uh, carried out by the King James uh, the fourth, uh, the fourth of the Scotland. Uh, he has uh, uh, do some uh, similar kind of a. Uh, uh, experiment uh, the children who were kept uh, un, uh, you know under processed was reported to have started uh, Hebrew language Hebrew language uh, King James can confirm his belief uh, by that uh, experiment that the Hebrew uh, had been the language of the God uh, of the Garden of Eden in another word the divine language the third experiments uh, that was carried out by the King Akbar the Mughal Kings Akbar uh, you know and uh, th this experiment uh, was done by the Mughal Emperor uh, Akbar, the great uh, king, uh, and uh, who comes uh, with the same and the desired result. Uh, but there was a problems in a Mughal uh, experiment, uh, you know, in the Akbar experiment that you know, in the two baby uh, after the two years, uh, they were unable to produce a single word, and you know, it was very difficult for them to adopt any language uh, without being, uh, uh, you know, when uh, because they were not able to listen anyone around them, so they were unknown to the language. Uh, so the this kind of experience, the experience, uh, the experiment of the Akbar was uh, failed in the terms of uh, these. So uh, the origin uh, of the language is very important chapter, uh, and in which uh, he uh, mentioned these kind of uh, details. Uh, I hope you would like these lectures and you would understand this uh, this is the this is the first part and this was about the origin of the language in the already in the chapter uh, which name is the origin of the language in each uh, uh, he uh, say you know uh, uh, he explained the reason behind you know the development of the uh, human language and obviously that was the human curiosity that uh, make a human able to uh, do the experiment to know about the god uh, given language and uh, then they uh, you know they, there are some references uh, from biblical traditions uh, from hindu traditions uh, and they believe that uh, like there are some other religious beliefs uh, uh, you know uh, they believe that uh, that religious are the things uh, that contributed more in the in terms of developing the language there are the you know some experiment that are being carried by Herodotus uh, the, you know the writers the, the Egyptians writer uh, the experiment the great writer uh, the experiments was being carried on the two newborn baby and then we have the King James King King James experiment the fourth of the Scotland and the last we have the King Akbar experiment I hope you would like this lecture and if you like this lectures please comment and uh, please like the channel subscribe the channels and if you want to give me any suggestion you are most welcome to give me any suggestions and if you want to um, if and if anyone of you uh, uh, feel any kind of uh, difficulty in understanding the analysis so they can also ask me I will try my best to give your uh, give all your answers thank you for today and for and follow us because we are going to summarize this book we are going to explain this books chapter wise uh, consequently